can hide my root joint here. Here's my, my joint. And then this was what I was talking about with uh, this, uh, these joint sizes uh, aren't bad. They're fine. Um, in fact, I'm, I kind of want to switch up what I got going on here scale wise. So at some point, but I think I'm going to leave that here for now. So we've done a little Python scripting. So this basically creates, so this is the joint system that I'm going to build the rig on. I'm going to build IKFK arms, put my controls on, do all my fanciness on. And so these are going to then drive, um, the deformation skeleton, but but then the deformation skeleton is still run as a full forward kinematic skeleton, which can be read by the game engines. And that's kind of where I'm going with this and what I'm hoping to do. So, and then I'll add in uh, to the bind skeleton and to here, uh, a roll joints that can control that, that will also be in that so that I can get some, maybe some better definition in stuff. And that's not even, thinking about getting into the facial setup, which I want to do a joint based facial setup. Thanks for hanging out, watching. Peace. Cool. Hello. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me back with my journey into Python and rigging. I am Maya with my little buddy here. Uh, I already forget Sprinkles. I forgot his name trying a different little uh, audio program so see how the audio works in this recording and I'm sneaked now remember what the heck I was doing and where I am I think in last I created my uh, pew, 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 uh, my uh, you know bones so I have a bind rig and or, you know, a bind joint chain, we'll say, and a rig joint chain. So this is like your normal, for those of you that have normal rig chains, uh, for a character. So if you were doing for production, video, something along those lines, I think this would be what all you would need. You wouldn't need the bind skeleton. The bind skeleton is there. Or exporting to games or interactive stuff and I'm not sure that it's right uh, once again if uh, this is mostly my journey hopefully you'll learn from my mistakes and maybe I'll learn from my mistakes and please feel free to call out my mistakes and tell me I'm an idiot for doing it that way why why wouldn't you do it like this um, in the nicest possible way uh, I would ask. That being said, um, I hope that two of you that might watch this are having fun and enjoying it and learning something, perhaps just enjoying my... Something happened here. Interactive. I don't want a lesson. Um, enjoying my soothing voice to put you to sleep. Speaking of soothing voices to put you to sleep, if I might recommend any Agatha Christie novel, audiobook, read by Hugh Fraser. Uh, that man has a wonderful, wonderful voice. Played Captain Hastings in the Poirot TV shows and movies. Some of my favorites, uh, but his audiobooks for Agatha Christie stories are just phenomenal. I love it. I really get annoyed when people do over-the-top voices in audiobooks, and he keeps it pretty down the middle. He's obviously got to do a French-Belgian accent, and I am drinking coffee. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. So I've wasted enough of your time, or have I? I feel like I can waste a lot more of your time. Again, I want to get into this vest at some point. I think I'm going to remodel this. I'm not on top of it. I don't like how the polygons are. I just kind of... Again, this was a quick model that I made. And so, here we go. I've got my uh, standard rig. So, what I want to do here is I'm going to come over to my Python rigging. 
and bringing scripting. And I'm going to create uh, my FKIK arm. So I'm going to add definition FKIK arm. And I kind of have already done this at one point, but I'm kind of interested to see if along the way I come up with any interesting, uh, better ways to do things. I always get confused in for loops, um, in like in how to index properly, or I guess, cause there's a couple different ways to do them. But if I need to call out the index, number in something certain ways work and certain ways don't work and so uh, I have no idea um, some idea and sometimes some idea is worse than no idea so let's first select our joints create a selection of joint chains Uh, and generally speaking, this is going to be a three bone selection. I think I kind of programmed around this. Um, so it's not super flexible at this point. I would take any um, advice on that. So I'm just going to, let's see, I want to make sure I don't have it up here. Okay. Uh, selection equals pymal dot list sl equals true type equals joint All right same as we did up here before list selection true type joint. maybe I'll just even copy this just straight over for some level of consistency and then I wonder I mean I guess maybe this is when you would use classes or something to do this uh, and that way you could just have this always be for each function you run like that's my selection again I don't know and here's something I did figure out at one point um, I'm gonna create a side variable which will uh, which what I'm referring to is the side of the body left or right uh, and this is going to be uh, since this selection is list this is going to be selection and I'm trying to remember why this works uh, this is the first thing selected, and if I do another one of these, oops, sorry, um, with a colon one. So what? What is that doing? Getting the first letter. I'm not sure why it's not zero. Or I'm not sure, but this works. So if it's left, it'll uh, bring in an L. If it's uh, and you know what? I'm actually going to do this up top here, to be honest. Oops. Gosh darn it. Control X. Control V. There we go. So I'm going to do it up top because I might have to do some stuff in here uh, with this stuff. So, in fact, let's just go ahead and make some constants for our sides. So left. Uh, will equal L right will equal the letter R um, I know I did center but I don't think I need one we'll just do it just in case but I don't usually name things center but maybe I'll need to who knows so I want to grab these rig joints. So this would actually be an interesting thing. It would, because of my other thing that I did, the uh, create rig joints, creates the naming that I already want. In theory, I'm just going to be using this script after I'd use that script, so the names will already be there. But what I came up with is... Um, oh, that's right. This doesn't need to be. So I have this twice. And there's probably a better way to do this in most things. But this does not need to be type joint. But I'm going to do something probably really stupid and inefficient. 